Um, and, and you could talk a little bit about, about that. But also, tell us about what is the time frame, Brian, that these types of situations, how long does it take these things um, to take place? I mean, how fast do they happen? Well, it, it absolutely varies. Uh, it depends on the lender. Is that's, you know, We're talking about thousands of lenders out there. Most of them are very backed up. You can imagine there is literally millions of homeowners in line right now to work out renegotiate their rate uh, with the lender, and um, it's happening, um, I would say, on average, 60, 60 days is pretty average. Uh, 45 so just two, is, two, two months, 45 to 60 days. Yeah, but it could be 90, and it can even go further. It just depends. Uh, it, it, what's important, though, if, you're, if you have, you know, if you've retained an attorney, they're protecting you. So you, in most cases, you're not going to lose your house. Um, so, so dealing, and you, were, yeah, you were telling me, Brian, the difference between the uh, loan modification outlet and a lot of other people who try to do this themselves, or you know, ex mortgage brokers that try to do this, is that you've got Evan and his team involved, so that you've got a legal team dealing with the bank's legal team, and that fast tracks everything. Is that, is that? I mean, elaborate on that a little bit for me. Well, it's it's important. I mean, you know, you know my background. Uh, I'm a mortgage broker for you know the last decade. And uh, I'm able to actually modify loans, but I, I firmly believe it's not in the homeowner's best interest. You know, when it comes to losing your house, it comes to protecting, you know, your home equity nest egg, you want an attorney backing you. And, you know, if it's the simple, you just look at the simple fact that lenders are going to take an attorney much more seriously with, with the recourse of going to court. These lenders don't want to go to court, you know, no. over uh, a mortgage. I mean, I have a very, I have a very important question coming from the, the consumer standpoint. I mean, first of all, what you guys are doing is absolutely amazing. I don't know why it doesn't get more press, but I mean, Evan, I mean, you know, University of uh, Baltimore uh, uh, real estate attorney. You guys don't come cheap. I mean, uh, I normally when I hear attorneys, I'm thinking hourly fees and all kinds of stuff. And Brian, the work that your your team is doing, working with Evan to set set these these files up. I mean, keeping people in their homes. What what's uh, I mean without, without getting into rough numbers how, how financially how how does this work for someone? Brian Brian or Evan or Brian Brian you yeah, want to address you that? that one or yeah I'll address it no Brian. problem. We're taking a uh, initial initial uh, fee and after that um, you know you're looking at about one percent of the outstanding mortgage balance which is a small price to pay if you're going to be saving thousands of dollars over the course of the loan. Um, it, it's a very valuable service. So b b basically every, everybody basically pays the same um, amount within the, within the value of whatever their home is, but everybody pays the same amount, and you get this legal team regardless of how long the, t the case takes to work on. I mean, there's no hourly fees for legal involved in this, are there? No. No, that's taken care of uh, with the agreement. Evan, is that true? That's true. Okay, okay, that that is right right off the bat. I mean, so listen, if you're if you're on this call, America's Debt Freedom Conference call, if if you uh, are in one of these situations, you've in a heartache situation, you've got financial issues, you're not making the money you used to make, you've got a family member not making the money that they used to make in the home, maybe you've lost your job, maybe you're in one of those very tricky loans that keeps adjusting and changing and your payment's different all the time, press 5 on your phone right now, get a hold of Brian, get a hold of the team at the, at the loan modification outlet, and, and let him work with Evan, work with the legal team uh, working throughout the United States to work on your loan, negotiate direct with the lenders, and uh, as you heard from some of the scenarios earlier, some people are saving ha half of their uh, payment or less, reducing it, cutting it in half, reducing principal balance, but most importantly, saving your home. You do not have to lose your home. That That's the main deal. Is that right, Brian? I mean, there are options for people. Absolutely. You, you need to assess all of your options, and even if you, you're – house is worth way less than you owe. This is a, actually a great time to be late on your mortgage, if you can believe it or not. M past years, lenders would not negotiate uh, when you're delinquent. This year, well, they are. Well, and the well they're being up, forced to the table by the government. From, absolutely. From what, uh, Evan a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure with this bailout money. Um, they are required 
to make every effort to modify loans down to an affordability level for homeowners. We're, we're going to have to um, co- come to a close on this conference call for, for America's Debt Freedom. I, I just want to, I want to thank you, Brian, for being available. And Evan, I know you're very, very busy, very important guy, very hard to get on the phone. Um, there's just a couple questions coming through um, on, the, on the email hotline. I mean, we've got um, Chuck's coming through from Detroit, and Chuck has a question. He wants to know, he, he works in the auto industry, doesn't want to tell us what, which, which auto industry he works on, but he wants to know if, if he loses his job and gets some form of a severance package, um, but he loses his job, um, is, is loan modification still um, a viable option for him? Uh, Evan? Absolutely. The lenders now understand that thousands and thousands and thousands of people are losing their jobs. The unemployment reports are getting worse and worse, and it's no fault to the particular individual. Now, what the lenders want to see is, number one, they want to see a hardship. What caused this problem? And losing a job qualifies for a hardship. Number two is, what is this individual trying to do to get back on the right path? You know, if we can get letters that he's applying for other jobs, if he's trying to go back to school and get some training. They want to see what he's doing. They just don't want to see that poor Joe got laid off and now his life went down into a uh, direct spiral. They're trying to figure out what can be salvaged and how it can be salvaged. And they'll wait and they'll be patient. So they will go ahead and and do something in spite of whether somebody's employed or not. I guess great. Press 5 on your phone right now. Talk to the team at the loan modification uh, outlet. They want to help you out. Just, just one. More. We got time for one more question coming through online here. Um, it's Melissa from Texas. Melissa's question is, is that she's currently two months behind on her mortgage. Um, single mother. Um, she thinks she's going to get um, um, uh, laid, laid off. At least she's very worried about it, like a lot of Americans are. She's having trouble making her payment. She's two months behind, and the mortgage company is calling her home, bothering her all of the time. Her question is, is that if she starts this process, will it put an end to those collection calls? Well, number one, if she starts this process, what we have is in, in the specific documents they signed, we have an authorization to speak on our behalf to the lender. In addition, what we include is a cease and desist order, which basically says that please stop any and all calls to directly to the homeowner and deal directly with us um, because we want to deal with it. Now, uh, well, we would want the lenders to 100% to stop calling her uh, because they're so large and there's so many people handling maybe a specific case or so far behind, they might not see, see each and every cease and desist order. However, we're, we're out there. All she's got to do is pick up the phone. We'll take over from there, and I think her heartaches will, will end real soon. That's fantastic. I'm sure she's glad to hear that. Just, uh, just a couple closing remarks before we close out. Uh, Brian, do you, do you have any closing remarks? No, I just just want to emphasize, uh, you know, let the professionals work for you. It's a long, tedious process, and that's what we do. So let us help you. And, uh, you know, this is a great time to be renegotiating your mortgage, and uh, that's about it. And, and Evan, any, any closing remarks? Thank you once again, by the way, Evan. It's a real real pleasure to have you on the line. Uh, yes. Um you know, everybody's in probably the same boat these days, so it's no uh, reason to feel that uh, somebody has failed because they're behind on their mortgage. Uh, one piece of advice is some people try to do it themselves. Um, the bank is in the best interest of themselves, and if you've read the news or hear, heard any of the, the TVs coming out, the uh, uh, results, most of the modifications uh, that were established have not worked. People fell further and further behind. And the reason why is when they were first coming to fruition is people would try to negotiate these things on their behalf. And that's why they're failing, because they didn't let the professionals take over and negotiate the best deal for them. So if we're able to structure the best deal for them and show what an individual can afford, then now these loan modifications are not going to fail, and everybody's going to get the best possible modification agreement. That's great. And you guys are really doing a great job, and I think you summed it up. Let the professionals handle it. Let the, let the attorneys uh, field those calls. Uh, let, let Brian's team and, and Evan's legal team renegotiate these loans, lower monthly payments, keep people in their homes. All you have to do is press 5 on your phone right now. They're standing by. Uh, I just want to thank everybody who was invited to this very private, very confidential uh, conference call for being on the line, America's Debt Freedom Conference Call. 
And uh, with that, I just want to say goodbye. Thanks for being on the call, and we'll talk to you real soon.